everyone welcome back to style by lauren Ryder. i'm lauren i make fashion videos here on youtube where i take thrifted vintage and designer pieces that i've collected and mix and match and create outfits and just play around with my style please don't forget to like this video and subscribe i would really appreciate it and follow my instagram at style by l Ryder for more fashion inspo um in today's video i'm going to be doing kind of a cross between a get dressed with me and a spring lookbook. So I absolutely love watching people put their outfits together and kind of see the process that they go through of why they picked the pieces that they did. But I also don't have a ton of time to film every day. So I'm gonna be doing a spring lookbook, but I'm also gonna be walking you through kind of the choices that I make and tell you why I choose the pieces that I did or kind of what I'm inspired to wear at the moment. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm halfway wearing the first look here. Um, so I will turn you around so you can kind of see. Okay, so like I said, I'm kind of halfway wearing a look already. I love anything nautical inspired and this is a J. Crew striped top that I thrifted from Goodwill. And then these are just some high rise shorts that I also thrifted from Goodwill. I love the cut on them, how they kind of like go up like that. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna tuck in my shirt so you can see kind of how high rise they are. But I thought I would start here. I also wanted to add my YSL choker necklace because it's spring. The next piece that I'm going to layer on is this rain jacket that I also thrifted from Goodwill. I really love these colors together, the red and this like sky or ice blue. I think this is so much fun. So I'm gonna layer this on and then I'm thinking for shoes, I wanna do something kind of ladylike to offset this kind of sporty look with the jacket. And then of course, you know, I need to add a hat. So let's go ahead and start here. Okay, so the jacket is on. I love these colors. Um, I kind of half tucked my striped shirt. And then I'm thinking for shoes, I don't know if I wanna do these Ferragamo heels with like a white sock. That might be cute. And then I'm thinking I need to add some sort of a hat or even do I want to put my hood on and just do kind of like a, I mean, that's kind of cute too. So here's with my hood. And then of course I need to add some more accessories. Okay, so I'm just trying to decide whether or not I wanna keep the sock or go without my white sock, but I actually do really like the sock. So I'm gonna put that back on. And then I added my little Chanel micro bag necklace that really is an AirPod case. And um, that will be the look. So let me go ahead and put the sock on so you can see. All right, so that is the look. So I have never been one for a minimal type outfit. Uh, I always have to have some accessories and you know something going on. So I, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I like the sock with my shoe and then these shorts I haven't worn yet. So I'm excited to style these. Like I said, I love the cut of these. And then I have my little necklace, my striped nautical shirt and then my YSL flower necklace. And I actually really like the hood. I mean, I think it's kind of cute. That is the look. I was also thinking it might be fun if I didn't want to wear my hood. You know, of course I could add a hat. I have a tweed one that might be fun. So let me try that too. So I think this is really cute too with the hat. I love how it's like Western, but it's tweed. So it's kind of like a preppy take on a Western hat. But this I think would be really cute. Let me turn you around. So this is the starting off point for my next look. I knew I wanted to wear these silk, they're like pajama leopard print shorts and I wanted to style them up some way and because you know in the spring it's still cold and rainy like today it's raining out I just added this chunky knit 
again with the nautical stripes um i like how it has like the gold button detail on the side oh and let me button this part here and um this i like combining the prints too so i thought that would be cute and then i need to accessorize and kind of jazz it up a little bit so let's see I'll add a hat probably you know how I normally do and uh, maybe let's add a scarf too the next piece that I added on is this nautical scarf I if you watch my last thrift haul you would have seen this scarf I just have it um, you know tied around my neck but then what I did was I thought I would add my little sunglasses these are just little Ray-Bans um, to the ends of my scarf for a little interest. I love sunglass chains and I saw somewhere on Pinterest someone had um, like put a scarf on their sunglasses. So I tied it like that and I actually love the way that it came out. It's such an unexpected accessory and it kind of like holds my scarf open like that. And um, then of course, you know, I need to add a hat. I was thinking for going with something like this one okay yeah I am liking this hat this one I got off of um, the real real a long time ago it's like a Dior um, hat it kind of still goes with like the nautical vibes I feel like or like even I don't know equestrian slash nautical vibes with that so this is where we are so far. I still need to pick out shoes. Okay, so for shoes, Ferragamo shoes. I mean, those are cute, but I kind of want to switch it up a little bit since we just used those. Um, then I was thinking, okay, do I want to go like full nautical and do like a red, a pop of red shoe? I could do that. Um, but then I think I definitely need a black sock if I was going to do that. I don't know. I don't like the white sock or even like no sock. Let's see. Okay, so I do like these red shoes with like no sock on it and kind of having a pop of red. Um, so that is an option. Don't mind I didn't actually like tie them or anything. These are actually real leather like Italian shoes that I thrifted from Goodwill. And it was so funny because when I had got them, a while ago I was standing in line and I'm like hmm do these look like clown shoes they kind of do but I actually really like them so um, that is one option if I wanted to do a red shoe the other option I could do is a black loafer but first let's pick a bag and then I think we'll go with a shoe so one second Okay, so I wanted to do just like a really ladylike bag. So I went with my little Chanel bag. And then for shoes, so I'm still debating between the red shoe and then I put on these loafers that um, you probably also would have seen in one of my thrift hauls. I like them. I don't know. I like the red because it's kind of like that nautical vibe. But I actually really like these ones too. So let me put the other one on. I decided to keep it a little more streamlined and simple and go with the black loafers with the little silver grommets. I do realize that they're silver grommets and I have, you know, gold buttons and lots of gold hardware and details here on me, but I love mixing silver and gold. I don't mind mixed metals. So I think this is the final look. I probably would just add like my little pearl anklet too to finish it off um, but let me know what you think did i make the right decision with the shoe or would you have gone with the red shoe so this is the final look with my hat scarf with my sunglasses attached to it my sweater and then i've got my leopard silk shorts and then my black loafers and my chanel bag to finish off the look For my next look, this is where I'm starting. This is my base. So I'm just wearing it. These are some kind of bike short slash capris um, that I thrifted 
from Goodwill. They're super comfortable. And then they have this like sheer part on the bottom. And I'm thinking I'm going to add like some bows or something on the bottom there. This is just a white bodysuit that I thrifted from, I don't know, I got this a really long time ago, but um, this is my basic first layer. But what I think it's gonna be all about is this lightweight raincoat that I got. As you can see, I'm kind of into raincoats at the moment. I love how they're so lightweight so you can layer and they still give you that extra um, you know, warmth for spring because sometimes it's still cold and rainy. So this is where I'm starting. So I'm gonna put the jacket on. I'm gonna add some bows, I think, to my capris and then we'll kind of go from there. See, next step, so I pinned these bows on to my pants. I actually really like how it turned out. I did it really fast, but I kind of like how it's a little asymmetrical like that and not perfect. Um, I think it kind of adds a little bit of interest to my outfit and I'm definitely not one to wear athletic wear out um, when I'm not like doing something that's not like working out, which you know, I don't really like wearing athletic wear even then, but um, so I think adding the bows on the side definitely makes it so much cuter in my opinion. And you know, I have to add some pearls, I think, to this outfit. So let me throw on my pearl necklaces and then we'll figure out the shoes and we have to add a hat. I'm already loving where this is going. So I just added my really long pearl necklaces here and then I added my pink little socks and I think I'm just gonna wear my mules here. And then we need to find a hat. So let me go ahead and do that. I am obsessed with how this look turned out. So we started with just the basic underneath. So the pants and then the bodysuit and then I added bows to the capris just to make them a little bit dressier. And then we added a bunch of layered pearls. The piece that I'm obsessed with is this polka dot raincoat. And then for my shoes, I just have my little slip on um, Chanel shoes with my pink socks, my pink and white socks for a little spring, a little color there. And then I think the statement piece is the hat and I am obsessed with how this turned out. I think this look is so cute and it just shows how you can wear pieces that are a lot sportier or more casual like these basic layers and you can really jazz them up by how you accessorize. So throw on all of the jewelry, all of the statement pieces, all of the hats, all of the fun stuff uh, in my opinion, all the bows, all the extras really go make the outfit and make it a lot more fun. So I will definitely be wearing this for spring. For this look, I wanted to go nautical again. So I really wanted to wear this red and navy and gold oversized sweater. I started just with my base layer. So these are actually swim short bottoms um, that I'm wearing. I picked these up from Goodwill. I think this is a really easy way to jump into the no pants trend. Um, you know, just wear a pair of swim shorts or like really short athletic shorts so it doesn't feel like you're not wearing anything. So that is what these are. And then I just have a basic black t-shirt and then I left my Chanel shoes on. Um, but let me see, I don't know if I wanna stick with this black shirt or if I wanna do, you know, stripes on stripes. So let's see where we're going here. So this is the look with the jacket on. As you can see, it has these amazing shoulder pads. I love it. I love how it's longer than my shorts. Um, but I'm not really loving how you can't tell that I'm wearing shorts when, with my black shirt. So I think I'm going to switch to this striped St. James shirt underneath. So let's try that out. Okay, I love this top so much more. So I just went ahead and kind of half tucked that in there. And then I definitely want to add a hat and a belt. I think a belt is another great way to make these like athletic sporty shorts look a lot more dressed up. And so let me see, I have a couple options. So the hat I'm going to wear, I think is that nautical inspired hat. And then I have a couple options for the belt. So I don't know if I want to do this St. John 
vintage belt or if I want to do this pearl belt. So let's try it out. This is the first belt option, my St. John belt. I'm going to throw on the hat and then we can kind of go from there and see if we stick with that. I'm loving how nautical this outfit is feeling. Um, so this hat I picked up from Savers recently and it actually is like a bucket hat, but I flipped the brim up and then it came with these little strings that I'm just leaving off to the side there. Um, and then let's see, I don't know if I want to stick with this belt or if I want to do this pearl belt instead. I kind of don't know where I want to go with that. So let me try that on and then I'll see if I make any other changes and I'll check back. So I ended up landing on the St. John chain belt and then I just, you know, tucked in my shirt. I added these blue ribbons on either side of my hair. I have my nautical hat that I just flipped up the brim so it even looks more like a sailor hat. And that is my look. This is another way that I would style this nautical look with pants this time. Um, these are just some pants that I got a while ago from Urban Outfitters. They're like kind of like a trouser cargo style. I left on my little belt bag, same shoes and everything. I did take the belt off. I still have the bows in my hair. So this is another way that I would style the nautical look. I love this hat. I love how hats just add so much to your outfit and they're just so easy to put on and style. So, so this is another way that I would style this nautical look. For my next look, I really wanted to style this leopard print mini skirt. You guys saw me thrift, I think in one of my last videos. And of course, you know I already have my red socks on because I love these red socks. But let me go ahead, I think I want to do something nautical again. I'm thinking this Ralph Lauren that you guys also saw me thrift. So let me put this on and we'll see where it goes from there. I'm loving how this is starting out with the nautical jacket and my mini skirt with my red socks. And I wanna, choose a hat. I was thinking maybe this leopard print beret could work. Um, so I want to try a couple different hat options and then let's try some shoes. I was thinking maybe some um, like silver sandals, something like that. Uh, but let me see. So this is kind of where my brain is right now. I put the hat on. Um, this could work. I like it kind of tilted off to the side. It's just a leopard print beret. Um, it's actually a men's hat. And then um, I have two different shoes on because I'm not sure where I want to go. I have my little metallic sandal and then I have my brown suede loafer loafers that I saw me thrift recently. So I'm not sure what I'm liking at the moment. Let me play around a little more and we'll kind of see where we go. So this is the look with my leopard hat and then the brown loafers. It's okay, but it doesn't feel very spring to me. So I think I'm going to make some changes here. I'm already liking this look a thousand times more. It feels a lot more spring. So I started with the leopard mini skirt that I had thrifted and then the Ralph Lauren nautical uh, sweatshirt that you guys also saw me thrift. And then I added my red socks. These are metallic sandals. They're old from J. Crew. And then I've got my little raffia stripe bag. I added this um, black and white hat that I thrifted from Goodwill. And then um, just my little square sunglasses that you guys also have seen me thrift. And that is my other spring look. For this look, I know I want to start with this blue button down. I love this stripe button down. Again, I'm just like really into the nautical stuff right now. Um, so I want to build a look around this. This is just like a menswear style shirt. I'm thinking I might just put like some denim shorts on underneath. Could always just do, you know, a basic pair of jeans too. Um, but let me play around. 
So I went ahead and added just some basic denim shorts. You don't really even see them. This is my favorite way of wearing a button down is just styling it with some denim shorts and then just buttoning a few of the buttons and kind of leaving it a little bit open. Um, but yes, yeah, so you don't really even see the shorts, but they're under there. And then I want to accessorize, of course. So let me see what we should do. I have a thing for socks right now so I think I might want to add some striped socks and some jewelry and a hat so let's see I just added this detachable sailor collar that I got last year I swear I wear this so much I absolutely love it um and then I added let's see if you can see move my hair I added some pins on the back I don't know if you can tell I am obsessed with pins and I love that detail. Um, yeah, so I have the pins on the back there and I'll probably tie this. And then I'm thinking I might want to add like a different sock and a hat. So I'm thinking maybe a striped sock and then a straw hat. So let me see. So I have two different striped sock options, a light blue one and the same sock in a dark navy. This one matches like the detachable collar more. This one actually is cute because it has like a little, um, you can't really see it right now, but it has a little pink Ralph Lauren symbol on it, which matches my straw hat. But I love this sailor hat. This one I got off of um, the Real Real. And so let's see, what sock do we like better? I thought I was actually gonna like this darker one, but I think now that I have the outfit on, I like the lighter sock with this. So I'm going to switch into the lighter sock and then I have my little uh, pearl cardigan necklace that I think I might throw on too just to kind of play off the charms off the back of oh, my hair, but um, I'll get a better view of that. I love the little pin detail that I added back there on my sailor collar. And oh, I have one more. Maybe I could add a little brooch in the front. I don't know. Let me change my socks and put my necklace on and we'll go from there. I actually ended up liking the darker navy stripe sock, kind of playing off of the collar here, which it's funny, you know, sometimes you think you're going to go one way and then after you actually put the look together, you go a completely different direction. So I really like how this turned out. So I have my Gucci loafers on with my navy stripe sock and then just a basic pair of shorts, my striped shirt, and then I have my detachable collar, my little pearl necklace with the pearl cardigan on it. I have my pink straw hat and then I'll try to get a better picture of my sailor collar with the pins on it so you can see that. But I'm really happy with how this look turned out. I think it's it's kind of fun. For this look, I wanted to wear these overalls. I have not worn these recently. Um, I love how they have just a little bit distressing on them. But it's funny because I, I love overalls. I think you guys probably saw me thrift a couple <laughs> pairs of them already so far. I, I love overalls. But I have a thing where like I don't want them to look farmery. Like, I don't know. I, it's like hard to explain. But sometimes I just feel like they look too like I'm a farmer or something. So the way that I am going to keep from getting that feeling, I think, is by pairing it with either a button-down shirt or something really preppy, um, maybe even like a tweed jacket or something. So this is where I'm starting. I just left on the same Gucci loafers that I was wearing in the last outfit. And so I'm going to throw on a jacket and kind of go from there. So I threw on this tweed jacket and it already did the trick. I feel way less farmer-esque. So I'm going to keep that on. I think you guys probably saw this one in a recent video too. And then I also am thinking of adding some pins on to my jacket. So maybe I have some flower pins, maybe something like one or I have this little like black sequin one um, or maybe even just adding a few pins and then I have this big necklace too this silver and gold necklace that I might add so let me 
play around with those and then I'll check back in. So I added my flower pins on my jacket. I just took a bunch of pins off of some other jackets that I have. And I love how spring that feels with the flowers. And then I actually changed my shoes to my little Ferragamo bow shoes. I liked the black with the little black flower there. And then I think I need to add some earrings and oh, maybe a fun hat. You know me. Let's see. So this is the look with the jewelry. I just added some Chanel pearl earrings. I like how they play off the necklace. And then I have these pink aviator frames that are just super cheap sunglasses. And then I'm thinking I do need to add a hat. So let's see. Let me see what I can come up with. So my first thought was to, of course, to add a sailor hat since I am obsessed with sailor hats, but I thought I would switch it up a little bit. And this is, you know, statement hat season, I've said before. And this hat I just think is so random that it's just like, why not? Why not have fun with the outfit like this? So I threw on this hat that's like a sun hat. Like it's like a baseball cap with like a sun hat thing on the back. And I think it has such a unique shape. And I actually am really liking how this outfit turned out. I'll do um, a clip of what it looks like from the back too. But that is the look. So I have my Ferragamo bow shoes. It all started with these overalls. I just threw on like a basic white t-shirt underneath. I didn't even bother doing like a button down or anything. I just wanted it to be casual. And then I have my necklaces, my pearl earrings. I think the flowers on the jacket really add something. And then my statement hat. And that is the look. For this next look, I knew I wanted to build something around this tweed jacket that I thrifted. I know that it um, it's kind of, you know, I guess a little bit more wintry, but it's lightweight tweed, right? So we can wear it for spring. And then I just added this flower gingham pin on here that I absolutely love. And I'm going to see where this takes me. Okay, so I put on the jacket. As you can see, it is very oversized um, and I think I'm just gonna do basic denim shorts with it keep it spring and then I want to accessorize for sure I have my little floral pin my gingham pin on but I want to play off of that I think and add like a scarf and maybe a necklace maybe some pearls let me see where I'm gonna go from here okay so I just layered on my little micro bag that has a little flower on the front in silver and i like how that played off of the flower in the pin and i might add some pearls i need to find some shoes um i'm thinking well let's accessorize first and then we can do shoes um so i need a hat and i don't know if another black and white hat on top is going to be too much black and white or if i want to do a little pop of color so I have my little gingham sailor hat. Um, so let me pop that on and see how we feel about that. So that's one option. I actually like how the gingham matches the gingham on my flower pin that I'm wearing right here. So that is one option. And then for shoes, there's so much black and white going on. Well, let's try on a couple hats first and see what we like. Okay, so here's the gingham hat. That's cute. And then let's try um, swim cap with the 3D flowers on it. Let me pop that on. So this is the little 3D floral swim cap. I actually like this too. I like how there's so many flowers going on um, in this outfit. So this is another option. So let's play around with shoes and see what we land on. This is one option, my Chanel ballet flats that are vintage. Um, the only thing with this is I don't like how like dark my sock is. So I think I would probably switch it out for like a sheer nylon sock. And maybe we will do this. 
I like this a hundred times better with my nylon sock. Um, but let's keep playing with shoes and see what we land on. I have this as an option. I also have these like menswear kind of style shoes that you've seen me wear before with the square toe. Or, or I could do the same, you know, Chanel mules that I have worn a bunch of times. So I'm not sure where I want to land. <sighs> I don't know. Something about the shoe is kind of just throwing me off. Maybe it's the sock. Maybe we get rid of socks altogether. This is the other option. So I have my little purple socks, which I actually like a lot better. I think what was happening is there was so much black and white going on. I needed like something to break it up a little bit more. So that is an option. And then what are we thinking about hats? I don't know if I want to stay with this one or if we liked the gingham style or gingham sailor style hat. So here's this one. You can see the full look here. Okay, so you can see I have my swim cap on. I have just a black t-shirt, my little micro bag that actually is like a little purse. And then you can see my little floral pin, just so you can see more details. So this is the outfit with my gingham sailor hat. And you know what? I'm actually surprised. I think I'm gonna land on this one. So I kept the purple socks on. I have my little ballet flats and then my gingham hat. And I think I just like the way the gingham hat plays off of my little gingham flower pin there. But what do you think? I think I like how it turned out. Normally I wouldn't go for so much black and white, but I think that the light wash denim and then the lavender socks kind of breaks it up a little bit. And then I could always have you know a different color bag oh this gives me an idea one second so this is the other option so i went a different direction i took off the silver micro bag and instead i threw on this vintage belt bag um, i'm kind of wearing it just over my shoulder but how cool is it it has like, a bunch of these little tiny bags and pouches that you can kind of play around with the placement of it and i actually really love the yellow with the lavender sock um, for spring i think that's kind of fun and like i said you can kind of play around where these bags sit but i like how the yellow breaks up the black and white too in this outfit and i think this is going to be where i land So that is my video with my, uh, you know, get ready with me ideas and kind of a mashup of my spring look book. Um, hopefully I provided you with some outfit inspiration. Let me know what you think about my choices, um, if you would have made any different decisions. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're interested. And follow my Instagram at style by L for more fashion content. I will see you all next week.